Hi everyone. Chapter 2. It's fantastic! Mr Cranky shouted, dancing around and around. It's colossal, it's gigantic, it's tremendous, it's a miracle! How did you do it, George? George started telling his father about the magic medicine. While he was doing this, the big brown hen sat down in the middle of the yard and went... Everyone stared at it, and when it stood up again, there was a big brown egg laying there. The egg was the size of a football. That egg could make scrambled egg for 20 people, Mrs Cranky said. George, Mr Cranky shouted, how much of that medicine have you got? Oh, lots, said George. There's a saucepan in the kitchen and this bottle is nearly full. Come with me, Mr Cranky yelled, grabbing George by the arm. Bring that medicine. For years and years I've been trying to breed bigger and bigger animals, bigger bulls, bigger pigs and bigger sheep. <sighs> but they went to the piggery first. George gave the spoonful of medicine to the pig and the pig blew smoke through its nose and jumped all about the place. Then it grew and it grew and in the end it was enormous. Then they went to the herd of fine black bullocks that Mr Cranky was trying to fatten up for market. George gave them some of the medicine and they got bigger and bigger. Then the sheep, then he gave it to the grey pony Jack Frost and finally, just for fun, he gave some to the Alma, the nanny goat. The next day, George's father came down to breakfast in a state of greater excitement than ever. I've been awake all night thinking about it. He cried. About what, Dad? George asked. About the marvellous medicine, of course. We can't stop now, my boy. We must be start making more of it at once. More and more and more. The giant saucepan had been completely emptied by the day before because he had been so many sheep and pigs and cows and bulls that had been given the dose. But why do you need more, Dad? George asked. Oh, my dear boy, cried Mr Killy Cranky. We needs barrels and barrels of it, tons and tons. Then we sell it to every farm in the world and all of them can have giant animals and we will build a marvellous medicine factory and sell the stuff in bottles in five pounds a time and we'll be rich and famous. But wait a minute, Dad, George said. There's no waiting, said Mr Cranky working himself up into so such. He put butter in the coffee and milk on his toast. Don't you understand what this terrible, tremendous invention of yours is going to do to the world? Nobody will ever be hungry again. Why won't they? asked George. Because one cow will give 50 buckets of milk a day cried Mr Cranky, waving his arms. One giant chicken will lay a hundred chickens for dinner. And one giant pig will give us fares as a pork chops. It's tremendous, my dear boy. And tomorrow, I will read you the next chapter. Enjoy your day. Goodbye.